In this movie, I provide an overview of how the Flash video works and some of the difference between standard web-delivered video. The FLV file format is the preferred format for delivering video clips via Flash. This FLV file format has been supported from version 7 of Flash. FLV files cannot be played back directly. They must be embedded in or linked from an SWF file. I have one here in this example. Here is my Flash movie here with a component that's actually just a placeholder linking to the video. And if I publish this file, I'll get this SWF file, which is a placeholder for the video. This is the video playing here with a built-in control for stopping, pausing, stepping forward and stepping back. I even have a scrub scrubber here for scrubbing through the video as well as an audio control. So what I've actually created here in Flash is a container. I'm going to publish a container SWF file from which to play my FLV file. The most common approach is to use an SWF file that functions as a media player with screen and playback controls as I just demonstrated. The professional version of Flash 8 now ships with a new video encoding tool, the Flash 8 encoder, that is a separate application. Notice that I have another window here. There's my Flash behind it, and here's my standalone video encoder. Later in the course, I devote an entire section to third-party encoders from Onto Technologies called Flix Pro and Sorensen. Their product is called Squeeze, including comparisons with this Flash video encoder. The video content in your FLV file can be encoded using either the standalone encoder or an import wizard in the Flash program proper. You can use both the new Onto VP6 video codec for use with Flash Player 8 or the older Sorens and Spark codec for use with Flash Player 7. Here in the Flash 8 video encoder, you just click on the settings, select a video here, clip, click on the settings button. That brings up the video encoding settings dialog where you can set your encoding options either from presets or if you click on the show advanced settings you've got some individual settings you can apply here if none of the presets work for your encoding needs. I should probably define codec at this point. Codec is an algorithm that controls the way video files are compressed and decompressed during import and export. This onto VP6 video codec is a preferred video codec because it provides the best combination of video quality while maintaining a small file size. If your Flash content dynamically loads Flash video using either the progressive download or the Flash media server, which I'll talk about later, you can use the onto VP6 video without having to republish your SWF file. The Sorensen Spark codec, which is the Flash Player 7 options here. Notice that if I choose here Flash Player 7, I get the Sorensen Spark codec, whereas if I choose the Flash Player 8, I get the on to VP6 codec. But the Sorensen Spark codec requires less processing power and is compatible with more players, Flash Player 7 and 8. But generally, the on to VP6 is clearly the better codec to use. Now, SWF video instead of FLV video is another output option. I have another example of this style of video here in Flash. This is an example of SWF output. These files are embedded into the Flash file itself up here in the timeline. They're limited to 16,000 frames or fewer at an SWF frame rate of 8 frames per second, so your movie cannot be more than about 33 minutes long at this frame rate. The Flash Player stops playing your video after the 16,000 SWF frames have been reached, and many Flash encoders will warn you if your SWF output video will exceed this amount. In general, SWF output is better for short video clips posted on sites that will not get a lot of traffic, but 
I encourage you to start with SWF video. As this, this is the easiest type of video to work with. It just goes into Flash like a regular other element or component. goes on the timeline, also is in the library. And these are easier to manage at first than the FLV video. Now, it's not hard these days to find excellent and interesting examples of Flash video deployed on the web, so let me turn to this topic in the next movie.